Alright guys, so I know I haven't been making the videos too much lately, that's because I've been busy, I've been going through a lot of stuff, I moved out of my mama's house twice, and I've just been trying to figure everything out basically, but I've had time here lately to sit down and just have fun and make my videos in Mango, so, I mean, I'm gonna get a new iPhone soon, but right now I'm using the old iPhone that I have, and <coughs> I'm gonna go... And when I get a new iPhone, I'm going to start making the videos a lot more on my free time. But here lately on my free time, I've just been making my beats and stuff. I have a job now where I work on the weekends and I have the weekdays off all day, every weekday. So, I mean, it's nice. But here lately, I've just been working on taking care of Mango. I've got roaches now that I'm breeding. And in this video, I'm just going to show you guys his growth and what I do through his daily routine when I'm feeding him now. Just all the basics, just what he's up to now. And I'm going to make a second video showcasing, showcasing the roaches and their breeding process. So, hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so I have Mangy's growth curve uh, for the past few months. I have him, of course, when he was a day or two old. Uh, this is the day I bought him. I have two pictures, and that's how you can see how small he is compared to my hand. And um, I have pictures of him when he was a month old. Uh, this is a picture of him when he was three months old. This is a picture of him when he was four months old, and uh, this is a picture I put on my Snapchat. The caption was Mango Washington, because I put shoelaces on his head, and I wrote, he wrote the in in Declaration of Insect Dependence. I thought that was pretty funny, and that's a more updated picture of him. This is a video of when he met my buddy Tav's bearded dragon, Sarge, and Sarge about annihilated him. He freaking attacked Mango. It was funny, but... This is his big butt now. He's done got huge. I'm talking when when you see the difference in how much they grow within a month to six month period, whatever it may be, you see how big they get and it's insane to see how how large and how beautiful he's becoming. But I love him to death. But you can see how big he is now. And this is him as of six months old. He's not he's a half a year old, so I mean you gotta think of how much they grow within a period of time all right guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm about to showcase mango's new cage and I'm going to show you all of the things that he now has as you can see it's gotten a lot different I change it up way too much probably you probably get sick of it but um I got this little pac-man thingy uh, just ignore that it's just for looks but I went in online on Black Friday and bought him this at Petco. As you can see, him compared to it, he's, I don't think he's big enough to go inside there anymore. Or I haven't seen him go in there anymore because when he goes in there I don't think he can get out. And I had an experience trying to pick that thing up and pull him out because one day he poked his beard out at me. He was ticked off because I pulled him out of that when I had to go to work in the morning. I get up at 4am for work so he wasn't too happy when I woke him up early. But um, I bought this. This is actually just like a little bendy bridge type thing. They use them, people who have hamsters use them and rats and stuff, because they chew on them, apparently, but I just bought it for him just because I thought it'd be neat, and he uses it, and uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the older videos, but this smaller hammock right here is what he used to use. I went out and I bought him one of the giant hammocks, as you can see, he needs it compared to how big he is. I also just have the little Lego cube with uh, with a cloth on it and his little, his little log, but... What I have started feeding him is Nutri Grubs that I got off of DubiaRoaches.com. And DubiaRoaches.com is a great website. He eats these all the time and he really likes them. But they are a hassle because they live in dirt. So that's one thing that you have to take in. Um, I also have started feeding him more uh, super worms. He loves super worms. He won't, he won't constantly eat them. But every now and then, if you haven't seen super worms, they're very... They're very small, but they're very fatty as well. And he won't like, they can also pinch you. I'm surprised he's not pinching me. But they won't, they won't make them fat if you feed them as treats or re unregularly. But if you feed them regularly, like every single day, it will become a hassle. But this is the roach breeder. Now guys, I have went on Dubia Roaches and bought many different, I think I've went through three orders of roaches. And um... What this is, is it just has their water, which is just dehydrated water crystals, which are these right here, and it's their food as well. 
and what they eat is just you can buy it at Pet Smarter Pet Co. It's just do be a cricket diet. And I tried at one point to make a roach colony, but it failed miserably. I fed Mango all the roaches before I could go and make the roach colony happen. But what it consists of is just basically food, water, and egg flats. All you need is egg cartons and the roaches will do the rest of the work i mean they just they breed away as you can see them and i've already had one set of nymphs come out and i'm hoping to have many more because the more nymphs that you have the easier it's going to be for you to feed them off and to make your breed of dragon happy but um yeah that's pretty much all there is i'll do a different video showcasing more about the roaches but basically what i do for mango now is since since he's done gotten so big in the mornings I'll wake up and I'll just leave him be I won't give him any food or anything because usually he doesn't eat that much throughout the day but when I get home I, I usually try to feed him unregularly now like maybe one or two maybe between one or two days I may skip a day of him eating just because he doesn't eat that much if I feed him every single day now, 